Hey guys, this is Smriti. Welcome to my channel. Today's video, you are not ready. You are not ready for it. I am going to swatch and sip. Actually, there's nothing to sip. There's only swatching happening here. Today, I'm going to swatch a new indie brand for multi-chromes and duochromes. So if you guys like shiny, shifty things in your life, you absolutely need to know this brand. And this is called Pretties for Your Face. Now, I have put everything in this corner and I have 8, 12, 13 shadows to talk about. Oh my God, I am so excited. So if you guys are ready, let's begin. Pretties For Your Face is a very new brand. I actually just heard about them uh, from I think Lauren May Beauty. So I started following them on Instagram and they suddenly announced that they're gonna have a sale. So I thought of just like visiting their website. When I visited their website, everything was marked down to 50% off and they are actually already an affordable brand so basically all the shadows that i'm going to talk about are either five dollars or ten dollars which is like unheard of in the multi-chrome industry i would say so i was very very excited because i could get it for like five dollars and 2.5 dollars for these pretty shiny shiny things now i have to also tell you a few things about this brand their customer service was a plus 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 i would say because there were a few things that got messed up my problem actually <laughs> i actually ordered from them one day before the sale because i didn't know about the sale i actually ordered that and i ordered like five shadows uh, and it was like i don't know 30 dollars or something something like that like it was a mix of 10 dollars and five dollar shadows in it so somewhere around like 30 dollars and then i went on their instagram they said oh they're gonna have a sale tomorrow and everything is like 50 percent off so i just reached out to their customer service no actually so what happened is i was actually entering a coupon code and i thought it entered but it didn't somehow did not enter the coupon code so i informed their uh, customer service uh, that yeah my coupon code is not working on this order and i thought it was uh, taking it uh, so they said uh, let me just check how much is the coupon code for and this and that and they said okay let me just just deduct that and uh, i was like but i also want to ask you something tomorrow your sale is going on i just came to know about it can i do anything about it or should i just order it tomorrow uh, and they said the best thing would be just cancel the current order and to order everything tomorrow so if you want to add more shadows to it you can get it at a discounted price i was like that's amazing immediately like within two minutes they cancel the order and i could like reorder it on the sale day so i was like so happy with their customer service i have to mention that now the second thing that i found that is a little inconsistent i won't say i don't know whether i should call it like inconsistent or not but i feel like this is like a true representation of a small indie brand uh, let me show it to you there are some shades that are like not fully packed so can you see the rim around the edges if you cannot i'll show some uh, like close-ups on the screen also this shadow is like not completely full so you can see the pan size this is like the first time when i opened the shadow i could notice that i won't say it's like a bad or it's not like a complaint or anything but if you order like a few shadows together you might see inconsistencies but there are some shadows that are like completely fill up to the brim can you see this like this is like completely full so i would say definitely keep that in mind when you're ordering it and it definitely does happen especially when it is like a small indie brand they're individually like packing all these things for you so just keep that in mind but i am so so excited now i would also say i would highly recommend you guys to use the shadow on top of like a glitter glue or an eyeshadow primer so what i'm going to do when i'm swatching it on the screen i'm going to put glitter glue on top of my skin and then swatch it just so that you guys can see the full pigmentation otherwise it's just going to crumble all across and you would not be able to see the shift and the shine which we don't want so i'm going to use my nyx glitter glue i just want to keep it 100 percent real in front of you so that you guys can see so i'm just gonna put like a layer of glitter glue on my skin and then start swatching it so that it's easier for me as well as for you to see it and for me to swatch it <laughs> so let's begin we have 13 to go through it was a long intro but 
so very needed i would say so the first shade is called asteroid now this one is five dollar shadow and this is defined as a metallic taupe base with pink and violet sparkles so i don't know if you guys can see the shift or not but i hope you can i am recording in like natural right lighting and that's the best when you can see the shift okay so now let's swatch this this is very smooth now there are different finishes of these shadows out of the 13 i would say there's only one shadow that i do not like rest everything is like very smooth very shiny very shifty so you can see like how smooth it is and how dimensional it is like oh my god this is stunning I want it right now. The look that you're seeing right now, it's actually my Valentine's Day look. I've already recorded my video and I wanted to batch record for today because I did not have any videos coming up and I have work. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Long story short, on top of the Valentine's Day look, I definitely wanted to add the shimmer because I was recording this video. So I actually did like a small clip. I used two of the shimmers on my eyes. Oh my goodness, what is this magic? Oh, take me to heaven right now, love it. And this is electrified. Oh, these are stunning, absolutely stunning. And look how sparkly and shiny my eyes looked. Oh my God, I was so, so happy. So happy. Okay, so that is Asteroid again for five dollars. I mean, if you like those like pink to blue shifts, you would absolutely love it. I would call this more of a duochrome rather than a multi-chrome. So basically, how you want to see is like all the five dollars would be more like a duochrome, and all the ten dollars are more like a multi-chrome. So just keep that in mind. Now the next shade is a multi-chrome and this is called Jolt and this is what I have right in the center of my eyelid and this is defined as a rose gold and a copper and a gold shifting multi-chrome. Yeah, you can see that. Like, like this is like breathtaking, I would say. Definitely a must-have in your collection. I was stunned when I put this on my eyes. Like this is what I have on the center of my eyelid. Oh my God. And the, this one is a little more flakier than the other one. But flaky shadows are the best ones. If you know, you know. <laughs> like, it's so beautiful. Like, absolutely stunning. Can you see that? I don't even know if you can see that pink or not. Like, I... Yeah, you can see that. I can personally see that pink. But you can see that... You know, gold and the rose gold coming through. It's so stunning. So, so stunning. If you are like a pink lover, you absolutely need that. Like, oh my God, look at that. This is so much more base than the first one, I would say. It's so shiny. So, so, so shiny. The next shade is called Electrified. Now, you guys can see that purple coming through very, very nicely, I would say. And this is defined as a green, silver, pink multi-chrome. You can see that green. Oh my God. I can see a purple too. And can you see that silver and a pink? Oh my God. It's beautiful. This is a stunner. This is more of a smooth shadow, but again, it has like that flakiness. And that's what like makes it so, so special, I would say. This is also another shadow that, oh my God, you absolutely would love. Can you even see that? <laughs> oh my God, I can cry. And that's the shade Electrified. This definitely, now all these shades definitely have a mica in it. So definitely keep that in mind. So if you guys are allergic to mica, I would not suggest, but if you are not, oh my God, you need it. <laughs> you need it i would say look out for a sale and just i would 
give you my top picks at the end of the video but this is something else like if you need some shifty shiny shades which is affordable you definitely need to test out pretties for your face love it i i love it like i love oh, look at that shift on electrified you can definitely see that silver and a green and the pink purple oh my god now let's move on to another multi-chrome and this is called scotched now this might also look like a purple to you guys but this shifts from a mauvey red orange and yellow and it has a bit of chunkier glitter texture than the other polymorphs so i don't know if you guys can see it or not yeah you can <laughs> you can i can see it oh my god look at that you guys know my love affair with multi -chromes. like you you know you know i love it like this is also a little more flakier shadow as compared to the other one i would say this and jolt is very very similar in texture the second one and this one and again this one oh my goodness can you see that i think you can see more of that green coming through green gold coming through oh my god this is stunning for deep smoky eye, that would look absolutely gorgeous. I hope you can see that shift. This is beautiful, beautiful. And I'll uh, put all these things on the outside lighting on like under sunlight and you can see the sparkliness of all of this. It's stunning. Now the next shadow is called like a sparkler. Now this is the shadow that I'm not like a big fan of. This is the only shadow that I really did not like. And that's mainly because of the texture. I'm very, very scared of even showing it to you guys because I'm, I might just drop everything in the pan. It's very flaky. And I don't know, I've never experienced this. This feels like, I don't know, like a cotton ball. Like it's so flaky. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but I mean, if you have like touched a cotton candy, that's how it looks like. I feel like I, I'm going to just drop everything. Can you even see like the texture? I don't like it. Like I, yeah, I feel like I'm going to make it. Can, look at that. Like I just picked out, like, don't focus on my face. I just picked out like a ton of things from the pan. Like, yeah, not a big fan of that. So I, yeah, I would not recommend this shadow particularly, which is called Cosmos. It's a mess. Like I am going to take that shadow out of this palette for sure. Okay, so let's try this. Definitely apply this. If you're buying this, definitely apply this with a glitter glue before your makeup. Otherwise, you're going to ruin your face. And I would say this is more like, I don't know, uh, more like a lavender shade. So let me just read it out to you. Cosmos is a pale purple with blue and gold sparkles. I don't see a lot of blue, I would say, but I can definitely see a pale lavender shade. I can see the least amount of shifts happening here. So this is definitely not as special as the other shades. God, I made a mess. I just stood up and all the flakes from my hand from that shadow just fell off. But nothing special. You're not missing out on anything. <laughs> okay, let's move on. The next shade is called Ohm and this is another multi-chrome that we are talking about. This has an ocean blue base and the color shifts from red, gold and green depending on how the light hits. So I can definitely see a purple I would say a blue, the ocean blue, definitely comes through. And I can see a lot of silver, I would say. See less of gold? I, I mean, yeah, I can see gold. I can see gold and blue in front. It's a very unique shade. And this is definitely the smoothest out of the lot, I would say. I don't have any blue in my collection that shifts like this. This is it's a very ocean blue shade, but I can definitely see that silver and the gold coming through, especially in when the sunlight hits, you can see a lot of gold. Okay, 
Now the next one is more of a duochrome shade. If you like purples, you would absolutely love it. But this is not like an unusual shade in my collection, I would say. This is a metallic purple base with a strong blue sparkle shift. So you can see that purple and the blue shift coming through. But I would say if you have like that blueberry muffin palette, if you have It's Bell Cosmetics, you do have this shade. It's not a unique shade in my collection, but still a very beautiful one. Again, this one is also a little more on the smoother side when I'm like touching it. I don't think the camera is even capturing. Like, I hope you can see that purple and the blue shift. And again, that is called Solstice. I would say very, very similar to the first shade that we uh, took, but this is much more deeper than the first shade, Asteroid. The first shade is more pinky blue, I would say, and this is more purpley blue. Okay, let's move on to the next shade because the next shade is one among my favorites, I would say. I'm not even a blue person, but I absolutely love this. And this shade is a multi-chrome shade and it's called Nitro. Is it even focusing? Okay, you can see that lavender coming through. Can you see that blue? Oh my God, it's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. It, oh, this is so gorgeous. So, so, so gorgeous. Again, this is called Nitro. Very soft, but flaky. My favorite kind, I would say. <laughs> so beautiful. I actually did a video of like my custom Very Peri palette and this shade was in it. So beautiful it is. Like the shift in this shadow is like unlike other it's just stunning i definitely do not have anything in my collection that shifts like that oh my god you can definitely see that blue and purple coming through it's absolutely gorgeous and that's nitro so you guys can see like from my swatches, I basically put the shades that look similar together so that you guys can see for yourself which one you like and which one you want to purchase. So the next shade that we're going to talk about is another blue shade and it's called Galaxy. And this is another sparkler, I would say, but nothing compared to Cosmos. This is much, much smoother and it doesn't flake like that at all. And I actually love this shade. This is very, very similar I would say to the JD Glow shadow uh, in the shade Watermark. But the shifts are different. Actually, yeah, the shifts are a little different. But you can see like JD Glow is so, so big. <laughs> but yeah, you can see how similar it is. I'll swatch it at the end, the ones that look similar. I'm digging my nails everywhere. <laughs> so this one again is called Galaxy and Galaxy is a rainbow of colored sparklers. It's a blackened blue that shifts to blue, purple and pink. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. I can definitely see a blue and a purple, but I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Things that I have to do to show you the shifts is as long as you can see it, I'm happy. So again, this is Galaxy definitely much much more deeper than the shade nitro galaxy is like a true i would say cobalt blue i would say so you can see that and that is galaxy i feel like it's more like a blue green but with a black base you can clearly see the black base coming through Beautiful. It's just stunning. Now the next shade I would say is more of like a duochrome and this is called Rock Biter and this is a red based metallic brown with teal reflex. So you can see that teal coming through but there is a red base to it. 
red base metallic brown with teal i would say it's very very similar to that blue brown pigment that everybody was creating uh, when they started doing duochromes wet n wild had a shade like that in the comfort zone palette the tiny marvels palette does have like a shade like this very very similar to that so i would not say that this is also a unique shade but still very very beautiful so again this is the shade rock biter like i personally can see a lot of brown with like teal in it yeah you guys can also see that it's more like that blue brown pigment for sure now the next shade you guys know which is the color that i hate the most on me and if you guys guessed green you are right but you're wrong if you would say that i hate this shade because this is one of my favorite shades that i got and this is called brocade oh my god if you are a green person even if you are not like me you would love this now this is a black and green with green and gold sparkles and the shine is something else in this you can definitely see that green and the gold coming through so pretty and this is like 5 Oh my goodness this is stunning like you bet if i am doing a green eyeshadow look this would definitely be it Ugh, it's it's so beautiful oh, i can see the angels singing from up above it's stunning can you even see it like that is brocade my camera is getting like foggy <laughs> it's not even like focusing on that shade just because it's that shiny oh my god that's stunning again that is brocade so pretty two more shadows to go the next one is so very unusual for me to buy just because it's a yellow shade and i you would hardly see me wearing yellows anytime i would say <laughs> any time like i run away from yellows and greens that's like i dread <laughs> like when people like pull off greens and reds i am so very jealous of you <laughs> i must say that but on me i look so hideous so hideous i cannot even say okay so the next shadow that we're going to talk about is called flare and as i said it is a yellow it's a bright yellow with a blue and a violet duochrome so i would say this is more of a duochrome shade definitely very very unusual you can definitely see that blue sparkle all throughout it and that makes this yellow so very special it's definitely very very unique in my collection and this is a shadow that's more on the smoother side i can definitely see that yellow with like blue and even pink sparkles in it i'm going to do a double swatch here just because i want you guys to see it i hope you can see oh my god this is stunning it's definitely very very unusual in my collection very unique Now the next shadow is also a duochrome and this is the last shadow that we're going to talk about and this is called gravity and gravity is defined as a metallic brick red with gold sparklers it's more of a sparkler shade but again it's smooth but with like a textural effect to it and that makes it like super super special and super sparkly i would say i hope you can see that gold coming through also very pretty if you like reds you will absolutely love it this also is like a smooth shadow but it does have like that flakiness to it love it can you see that effect like that is a textural difference that i am telling you guys oh my god stunning so pretty and that is gravity and those are all the pretty for your face eye shadows these are very very sparkly shades so if you like sparkles and dimension on your eyes i think you're going to absolutely love it i'll show you the swatches under the sunlight too so that you guys can see it for yourself 
how sparkly and dimensional it is but if you ask me and if you're not crazy as me and you want to say okay smithy just tell me the top five shadows that you would recommend out of this collection that i got i would highly say jolt which is the second one which is more like a rose gold pinky shade i really love that i love the shade electrified i like scorched i like nitro which is more of this one and then i loved brocade which is the green one those would be my top picks again jolt electrified scorched nitro which is this blue purple and brocade which is this green oh my god can you even take the eyes off i cannot take my eyes off of these swatches because it's so beautiful i have to show comparisons i mean i've closed the video and then <laughs> i reminded myself that i did not show you the comparisons so let me show you there are a few shadows that look very very similar oh my god the placement is ridiculous okay let me just show you the shades that look very similar and this is pretty for your face which is a solstice and this was very very comparable to jd glow's insane it shifts very very similarly and it looks very similar in the swatch too so definitely wanted to mention that the next shade which swatch like exactly similar is pretty for your face gravity and this was very very close to jd glow's macaroon now i prefer macaroon a little more i would say um actually i take that back if you like a smooth shadow you would like macaroon but if you like more of a textural shadow you might like gravity a little more but this is more smoother you do not need like any base or anything to put but very very similar i'll show you the swatches just in a minute the next shadow which was very very similar was the shade which is called rock biter which i told you like it's very very similar to the blue brown shade from mac or like that uh, tiny marvels palette shade so let me show you the tiny marvels palette shade and that is what i actually swatched it against and it's very very similar so this is the shade that i'm talking about and the shade name is called scarab and these two are like almost exactly same and the last shade i won't say this is like exactly similar you can get a similar vibe as i said and this shade is called galaxy and i would say a similar shade to that would be watermark from jd glow but it's not exact i prefer watermark over galaxy any day i would say this is much more sparkly and dimensional i also swatched it against anomaly because this is also another blue to purple shift shifting shadow so i wanted to uh, swatch that too but anomaly is definitely much much lighter than the shade galaxy so let me show you the swatches so these are the swatches you can see how similar it is i would say this this and this is like exactly similar first shade that you see is pretty for your face solstice and this is being duped by jd glow's insane and then what you see is pretty for your face gravity and this is jd glow's macaroon and this is pretty for your face rock biter and this is scarab from tiny marvels this is pretty for your face galaxy and this is jd glow's anomaly and this is jd glow's watermark so as you can see these are a little more similar i would say but jd glow's watermark is a lot more sparkly but rest all of them i would say it's very very similar i really hope that you guys enjoyed these swatches of pretty for your face and if you have tried pretties for your face earlier in your life definitely let me know which is like your top 3 favorites from pretties for your face otherwise you know what to do like this video please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring that notification bell so that you're notified every time that i post next i generally upload three videos every single week every mondays thursdays and saturdays at 9 am eastern standard time until next time i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys